Wesleyan Bible study in Psalm 101 of David, a psalm. I will sing of your love and justice. To you, O Lord, I will sing praise. I will be careful to lead a blameless life. When will you come to me? I will walk in my house with blameless heart. I will set before my eyes no vile thing. <clears throat> <laughs> now, like I've mentioned before in previous Bible studies, you know, especially the book of Psalms. Psalm is a book of praise. It's a book of worship. It's got a lot of teachings in it. It's got a lot of just glorifying the Lord. You know, the different, the different authors, the different artists, David, Solomon, Moses, Asaph, Korah, you name it. There's several people in here and all praising the Lord. So let's get to what this was saying, right? I will sing of your love and justice. To you, O Lord, I will sing praise. I will be careful to lead a blameless life. <clears throat> I know, right? So our walk with the Lord helps us with that. It helps us to uh, be guided by the Holy Spirit. Be guided by our Lord and Savior, our Lord and Savior Jesus, so that we refrain, that we do not fall into temptation, that we uh, do not commit acts of sin, that we have a guide. Um, it's not to say that, again, we won't be, but also when we do fall into temptation, when we do sin, who we know that we can count on for forgiveness and not that we go to intentionally sin, but to humbly ask for forgiveness when those things do happen and know that we have been forgiven. So when we see our Lord and Savior, he knows that we by faith know that our sins have been forgiven from our Lord and Savior. And so that makes, that wipes away the sin, having that faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus. And so this is, again, the Old Testament. This is, <clears throat> again, a Psalm of David. So this is showing his faith, that he knows what he needs to do. He needs to be careful <clears throat> to lead a blameless life. When will you come to me? I will walk in my house with blameless heart. I will set before my eyes no vile thing. And so <clears throat> this, this point is going to come up many times, especially um, even in the New Testament. So um, to avoid things, sometimes we can't be around things or uh, whatever it may be. Things, it could be food, whatever, what it may be that we may not we may understand our own strengths and weaknesses. We may feel that we are too tempted by certain things. And so we, we don't want to be around it because we may fall into temptation. And, you know, that may apply for a person. That could apply for their journey to help them out. It's not to say that they're not fully necessarily relying on God. It's to say that each and every one of us individually are different, right? We're all different <clears throat> when it comes to our journey. And so the best thing to do with those, in those weaknesses, remember, in those weaknesses, the Lord shows the strength, right? And he can show it through us as well. So even in those times that we may feel weak or may see that, oh, being an area or being something or be given something that we may feel that brings us back to something, brings us back or uh, <clears throat> lean in, lean into the Lord and the Lord will help you. The Lord will guide you. The Lord will assist. The Lord is there. The Lord's here now. <laughs> We're there to hear more. Welcome to Bible study, right? <laughs> There's a lot, a lot here. I will walk in my house with blameless heart. I will set before my eyes no vile thing. And so we too bring past to present. We too it, you know, it may be a necessity for us that we avoid certain things that we may feel that may, be beyond, uh, may bring us into temptation or may allow us to slip. 
Um, however, we also want to make sure that we are walking the path with Christ and not alone. So we don't want to just rely on our thoughts and feelings. We want to rely on the guidance from the Good Shepherd. <clears throat> so I know it could be difficult <laughs> turning on the TV, your cell phone, what have you, <laughs> whether whatever that temptation is or whatever that that thing is, it can be difficult. But do know that we have someone that is here to guide us and protect us. And he knows. He he knows. <laughs> he knows. He, he knows. And even David, he was he's saying here, he's he's gonna try his best right here. He's going to do what he needs to do to lead a blameless life, to be blameless. And we can we can look to that. It's though it may be difficult, we do have our Lord and Savior. Don't doubt what the Lord can do for us. What kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think? <laughs>